Hello there, what's going on? We're gonna talk a little bit today about how to heal through movement, right? We spent a lot of time in the past couple of videos learning about mindfulness and how to heal through stillness. Um, that's super important, but it's also really important to learn how to heal in other ways, right? We can't just do one thing and expect ourselves to get better. We typically have to do lots of different things. Um, to really help ourselves heal. So what we want to do um, when we're working on healing is create an environment of healing in our bodies, right? We want to increase the likelihood of our success in healing by doing as many things as we can to create this environment that is very conducive to healing. And movement allows us to access that. So what are the benefits of movement? Like how is movement beneficial when it comes to mental health specifically is what we're talking about. Um, movement is really amazing because it helps move stagnant energy that gets trapped inside of our bodies. Um, when we deal with intense emotion um, or trauma, the energy of that event needs to go somewhere, right? And what we honestly typically do is when those events happen, we suppress and repress uh, the feelings that we have. Um, sometimes we feel embarrassed about the way that we feel, so we hide our feelings, we stuff that down. Over time, all those emotions are crammed inside of us, right? And they don't have anywhere to go. So movement is really great because it starts to loosen up some of that stagnant energy and allow it to move through our system freely. Um, another thing that movement does is it releases a lot of um, a lot of chemicals in the brain that helps reduce stress. So it'll re uh, release things like endorphins that can even create feelings of euphoria within a person. Um, I'm not a runner, but I know that people experience like a runner's high after they run. So um, there is some science to that, to the feeling right that you get after exerting your body in some kind of way. The other thing that movement does is it calms down the mind a little bit, especially when we're focused in on on the movements that we're doing. You know, we're dancing, we're running, or we're doing a hit workout, whatever it is. We kind of get uh, we move away from uh, our brains like normal like chatter that happens all the time, and we start to. Um, be able to almost like lose ourselves in whatever workout we're doing. Our brain kind of turns off and we're just more focused on getting the workout done. Especially if it's a difficult thing, you don't have much room to think about other stuff because you're focused on getting each of the movements done correctly, right? Um, another thing that exercise or movement does is it allows us to express ourselves. Um, and we can even get creative in the ways that we move our bodies. There are some, some kinds of movement that really don't work for some people. And so in order to find a, a practice that's meaningful for us, we might have to get creative in figuring out different ways to involve or include movement in our lives. So um, kind of just like tap in to your creative sense to see what feels good when you move around. Um, and I'll talk a little bit more about that later on. And another thing that, uh, that movement does is it allows us to feel more aware of our bodies and more connected to our bodies. Um, not only that is it allows our body to communicate better with itself, right? So we're um, moving around quite a bit and it's reminding our brain, right? It's, it's obviously first off, it's telling, it's telling the brain to start releasing those positive chemicals and it also helps us, helps our nervous system start to calm down and regulate as well. Um, so those are just a couple of the benefits of, of movement and how that can help you. Another thing um, that I want to talk about is just I want to give off a couple of different kinds of movement that you can try um, that can be really, really healing. So a lot of people feel super connected to running or walking. I think this is super accessible because you don't need really many tools to just go outside and go for a walk. Um, if you're running, you might need to purchase running shoes or something to help support your feet. But other than that, walking is a really easy thing to do. If you have a pet like a dog, that makes it pretty simple. Um, that's something that you have to do every single day. Um, it's an easy way to kind of start moving your body in, in a simple, simple manner. Um, another thing is 
uh, doing practices like yoga. I think that yoga is super awesome, right? The term really just means union, right? So we're trying to connect our, our body and our soul and our energy, right, all together and just kind of come together as one. And I think that's one way that well, that's why I think yoga is such, a, such an awesome practice. It's one of the things that I do um, on a really consistent basis to help move my energy and kind of connect to my body in a meaningful way. Another one that I've tried that I really enjoy is um, Qigong. I don't do that one as often, um, but it is super awesome. Um, you have like, they're more like slow and intentional movements. So if you're someone who doesn't really like to sweat or like physically exert themselves a lot, then this can be a really accessible practice for you to try. Um, so yeah, I think depend like it depends on like, like you can definitely find videos of people who are doing, who are doing things that are more like exert your energy a lot more, but you can also find ones that are more low key if that's where you need to start. So start where you need to start. Um, another thing is you can try, um, Lifting weights is also a really great way to just move your body. Resistance training is really great for your bones and for your body in general. So, um, and I feel like for me, it tends to release some more energy when I when I do like lift weights. Um, and another really simple practice, one that doesn't require you to do to purchase anything, right, to get started, is dancing. You can literally just play your favorite song and just dance around for a little bit. Um, that is a great way, like I said, to kind of like touch into your creativity. Um, even if it doesn't matter if you dance well, it's just, it's just the fact that you're moving your body, right? Just move your body in intuitive ways that feel really good for you. Um, and then over time, you might notice you get better at it. Who knows? I don't know. Give it a try. <laughs> um, and then the last one that I want to talk about is just like, any, any sort of intuitive movement. Um, like you can seriously like just pull out a yoga mat or a towel and lay that on the ground and just start moving your body in ways that feels good. Um, you don't need to have a specific routine or anything like that. You literally can just start doing a couple of stretches and just kind of getting your body and your energy flowing in that way. Um, there are tons of obviously like online resources for you if you want to kind of dive more into movement. Um, but these are just a, a couple of basic tips that can hopefully help you get started. Um, I would recommend that you would just find something that feels really accessible to you right now. Um, do not try to do everything at once. Um, if you want to start movement, you don't have to say like, I'm going to do this every single day like on the dot, right, at the same exact time, and that's my new schedule for the rest of my life. You might feel a little bit overwhelmed after the first couple of days. It might feel kind of stressful to have to keep up with that every single day. So just try something today, see if it feels good, and see if you can start incorporating more moments of movement into your lifetime. Um, it's definitely, yeah, a great way to start creating an environment of healing within our bodies. Um, throughout the rest of this week, I'll be kind of talking on, talking about some more topics that will help us just create a general environment of healing within ourselves. Um, if you want to, um, I'll also be sharing a lot of these bonus tips in my Facebook group. So I'm going to uh, leave the link to that below and then you can check that out and see if that's something that you'd be, you'd be interested in. Um, that's all I have for today. Thank you so much for sticking around. Um, peace and love. I will see you tomorrow.